Hey street team, welcome back to Danny TV where we bring what's going on in these streets to your TV. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Danielle. So make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe because y'all know we're about to go up. All right, I just wanted to introduce the vlog. Today is going to kind of be a day in the life. Um, let me pull up the to-do list as of today. I'm about to go in the nail shop and get my nails done. I'm kind of doing like some vacay prep because I'm going to DC next week and I gotta make sure that I do everything that I need to do because usually I'll say that I need to like do vacation prep and then I literally wait to the last minute and next week I don't have time to be waiting to the last minute so we doing this ahead of time so I need to get my nails done um, I want to get a polish change so we're about to run in the nail shop and do that I'm thinking about grabbing some lunch and trying a new place in Savannah, kind of exploring and maybe running a few errands. And then after that, tonight, I'm going to a fundraising event with my job. Um, two of my coworkers are like in the fundraiser event, so I want to go and support them. One of my coworkers is actually from St. Louis, so you know I got to show love to my St. Louis people. St. Louis girl, always at heart. So yeah, um, that's kind of what we're gonna be doing today. So let's go in the nail shop. I'm gonna put on the screen what nail design I wanna get, but I used to get, when I was in St. Louis, I think I used to get like overlays on my nails when like they grew super long instead of getting like a full set. But I honestly can't remember and I feel like the Chinese people like be trying to get over on people, trying to get them to spend more money. Um, no shade. It's, factual but i think i'm gonna get an overlay but i want to do like new and then do like a little design probably on one finger something like really cute and simple and then i guess i just get my toes um new All right, y'all, I just got done getting my nails done. I need to put some lotion on my hands because they're a little ashy. But I came out here to say, like, I had been saying that I was going to, like, buy the equipment off Amazon and just start doing my own nails and wear press-ons. But the only thing with press-ons is that when I put them on, they pop off so quick and it kind of gets, like, irritating for me to have to keep gluing them on. But I did see this video that um if you prep them right like before you put them on they can stay on longer these are my nails i got like nude i got a little design on one finger um i like the shape or whatever i hope y'all can see them but anyway this was just a sign for me to like literally buy all the stuff and start doing my nails myself or whatever because the last time i came up here they was irritating me because i was vlogging and they was speaking in their little language talking and it's like okay you tried me once but you tried me this second time i'm the one that looked like a fool so i go in i show them what i wanted or whatever and then the lady was like do you want powder do you want dip or do you want gel and i was like you know i don't want any of that i just want a full set and i want you know regular polish so when you in a nail shop and you tell people that you want regular polish they be acting like you said that you finna blow the place up or something like they do not like when you tell them that and so the lady like no no like do you want and i was like no like i said that i wanted this or whatever blah 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 
so then she does the nails and then she put this polish on her and it looked cute of course on the little hand thingy but when she actually put it on my nails i didn't like it so i was like you know i don't like that i'm sorry let me just pick another color so sus goes to tell me that the reason that i don't like the way that the nails look is because i did not get gel dip or powder and then was like when you get regular polish your nails are not shiny and it's like first of all ma'am i used to get my nails done literally religiously and i stopped for like a while but like you cannot tell me like you cannot try to trick me and get more money out of me because no i'm not paying you an additional twenty dollars for you to put my hand under like a fan like no sis I'm not doing it and i don't believe in spending over a certain amount in the nail shop because once we get to spending a hundred dollars and we get to spending 90 and 150 i feel like i could have went to the beauty shop and got a whole hairdo like that's just how I feel. Y'all can laugh at me and call me cheap. And y'all probably be like, but you be out eating though. But like, it's different. Anyway, I just don't believe in it. So no, I'm not doing it. Like special occasions, yes, I don't mind splurging on my nails for like special occasions. But that's just not what I do. So I'm like, girl like that is not the reason so then she goes and get the lady that speaks english and it's like i understand what you're saying and like i told the lady that speak english what i'm not about to do is argue with you about some nails do my nails and shut up like and of course i didn't say do my nails and shut up because i wasn't gonna be rude but it's like stop it so then the lady's like yeah and i can't do the design because you have regular polish and i'm like bro like what did y'all used to do before gel and powder and dip became a thing like what did y'all do before then y'all was doing them designs like yes you can so she tried to lie and say she couldn't do design so at that point i was like okay well if you couldn't do the design you should have said that in the first place take the nails off and once i was like you know take the nails off oh she could miraculously do design and everything else so moral of the story you will not catch me back in the nail shop we got the supplies at home so anyway got the nails done um overall happy about that even though they made me mad so now i'm about to go grab lunch i'm trying to decide if i want to go to my favorite place that i always go to because i haven't been there in so long the savannah tequila company or if i want to try something different So I decided to come to tacos and tequila. Um, I'm deciding what I want to get. I think I'm going to get a margarita. Maybe I'll do frozen. They have strawberry, mango, or peach. And then I'm deciding if I want to get like street tacos or if I want to get like quesadillas or nachos. I'm really, really, really indecisive. I wanted to sit outside, but it was like so windy. And then the side that I wanted to sit on and actually look cute is so many people over there and they don't have tables. So I decided to come inside, but this is supposed to be the best Mexican place in Savannah. So we shall see. Y'all hey officially made it to the work event. Work I'm ready to get Looking like going somewhere else after. <laughs> Right, I'm ready to get a little, I don't know what I should say. I can't say turn because it's a work function, but a little bit. We got some food and some free drinks, so ready for that. I'm gonna try to vlog some things, but they got the music up really, really loud and I cannot get copyrighted. So yeah, about to go out there and I will show y'all what I can show y'all.
So yeah, I'm about to go get me something else. I don't know what, but I'm having a good time. Out of 10. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No case was hitting though. Hey y'all, happy Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. I literally had so much fun last night. When I say I had a time, I had a time, okay? I don't care what kind of event it is. When they have free food and a free open bar, you are gonna turn up. Um, and it also ultimately was for like a good cause. I told y'all that I went to support uh, my coworker that's from St. Louis and he ended up winning like the prince award or something um chow i don't know but he won something so i think that that was like really 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 dope and congratulations to him as of right now i'm on my way to the grocery store because i need to buy some food like my fridge honestly looks silly as hell because it ain't nothing in there but juice so i need to stock up on some food um because my motto for this week is we got food at home i don't need to be spending no more money on no fast food no nothing except tonight i am going out to dinner with the girls tonight um but other than that sis got food at home and we gonna be cooking at home i don't know y'all i just feel so much better when i cook at home and i'm not eating like fast food i already have stopped eating like frozen fruit food from the grocery store like if it's already in a bag and it's frozen and you have to heat it up i don't eat it i literally buy everything fresh and cook it myself because it just makes me feel so much better and it's to the point where y'all know a few months ago i went to trader joe's right and i bought all of this sodium filled crap that was in frozen in these bags y'all and when i literally ate it i was like this is so disgusting like i literally could not eat it and i like trader joe's but i just can't do um i just can't do it so i'm trying to stick to my routine because i need a routine like i can't just wake up and go to work every day i need to have a routine so i'm gonna get back into my meals that i was making at home because i kind of fell off last week when i went out of town and i was eating crazy and then this week i kind of felt off so i was like girl you need to take your butt to the grocery store and stop playing with yourself It's dark, but I just got home and I'm not getting up to cut my light on. Um, I got home just in time to watch my favorite girl's video on YouTube. Brianna Monique put out a new vlog, so I'm watching that. I also was um, looking at my TikTok because the people are going crazy in my comments about power. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do right now because y'all know on my TikTok, I talk about like my shows and stuff and the new episode nine and 10 of power has been leaked and it's like, okay, do I watch it even though it hasn't officially came out yet and make my reaction or do I just wait till Friday and do my normal posting schedule? Because I feel like if I watch it now and then i post about it i'm gonna have to find something to put into that place for power friday so i don't know i think i'm gonna just be ethical and i'm just gonna wait till next week y'all you know 
so yeah back at home had so much fun at the restaurant that mexican restaurant is so good and so cheap y'all um so yeah i'm about to watch my girl on youtube and then i'll probably see y'all in the morning because i have to work in the morning um so i'll see y'all in the morning it's been a minute since i've picked up my vlogging camera again but i finally got my hair done because i was walking around looking like a little boy okay and it's never the vibe but i'm so happy that i got my middle part um desi is here Y'all know Desi, y'all love our travel content because when we do the travel vlogs, like it really, really always does amazing on my channel. I'm about to show her Savannah. Um, we're gonna go to Hula Hands later because that's like a staple in our friendship. We always used to go to Hula Hands. The Hula Hands in St. Louis used to be bomb. I'm not really a fan of Savannah Hula Hands because you know when they come in like franchises, they be acting crazy, but we're gonna go there tonight and then right now we're about to go to river street and i'm taking her to the savannah tequila company which is so good okay super good um desi is in the mirror taking pictures a thousand photos but yeah i'm excited that my friend is here it's honestly been like a good month for me because my sister came to visit me last week and then my bestie comes this week like I miss home, but yeah, we're about to head out. Taking a moment to just admire myself because I look so cute. Yeah, we're about to go. Come on, girl, get in the vlog. <laughs> Hi. Y'all see the turtle? Mm. Uh, Cause she said that she about to be a stylist, okay? For real? She said Please. she ain't paying nobody to do her Please. hair no more. just left the savannah tequila company i really really like the nachos but the drink wasn't all that yeah it wasn't mixed the bartender literally just like poured and we supposed to mix it because mine's the first thing i taste was sour yeah but i would rate the nachos 10 out of 10 definitely fire but get the um, beef very seasoned i am so sick of having skim collars bro this is like honestly ridiculous desi want to take shots i don't know where we should go but we're about to go somewhere else so right i'm in her city her temporary city you know, she stop in louis. saying that she's in st louis her temporary this is not city. my city mm. this is not my city okay this is a um, temporary living space <laughs> and louis girl at heart how dare you say it's that this four. is my city it's my four. she acting real brand new because usually like when we go out of town y'all know we do our annual trip she came here and she didn't look up like nothing for us I to do it. it's like bro you're the planner hello like you're Ooh, the planner right now girl you ain't for that <laughs> <laughs> um okay so it's this place called top deck and they have 352 today we don't drink beer but they have tito's would you drink tito's no tito's is for people who do not care about their heart what do you mean it's <laughs> literally like like oh going i don't man no it's like deaf in your mouth. Ew. Okay. And it's so vodka. Not... 
Mm -hmm. Okay, well they every day three glasses three dollar glasses of rose still are sparkling. People in Savannah, where do y'all go? Cause we don't know. Let me ask hey, the group chat. Yes. If you want, we can do a shot of Tito's. Well, you can do a shot of Tito's. You Girl, you talking about, I care about my heart, yes, though. Like, oh, I was looking like, up and you was making, I'm like, is he homeless? No, he not homeless. I just asked. Is it raining or is that the branch? Okay, that's the branches. Branch. I'm like, I just asked my friends from work, where would we, where would y'all go for shots in Savannah? happy thursday um as you can see i'm up and out it's about 8 37 i'm on my way to the doctor um today is the big day that i have my appointment with the plastic surgeon for my breast reduction consultation um i'm nervous and i'm excited at the same time because i really hope that everything works out with this breast reduction because i am tired of suffering with like back pain every single day and honestly just like not feeling like myself every single day because like my boobs are literally bothering me so I'm excited to go um I have a list of questions to just ask in general about the surgery I have been like updating y'all on like my journey with everything so I might like, let me take y'all with me um, I'll try to record footage on the inside if they let me, but y'all know like doctors don't really be for that. So yeah, um, I had to wait a month like to get this appointment and time went by so fast. I'm arriving to my, I gotta get over. I'm, arrive, I'm arriving to my appointment a little early so I can like fill out paperwork and stuff like that. They wanted me to fill it out on my phone, but I just didn't feel like doing it. I was like, let me just go a little early. Um, this is going to be my first consultation. I'm gonna have a second one um, because I want to get like different doctors opinions before I fully commit to this and see what people what different doctors say and like totally and fully do my research which I know that I'm going to have the surgery done it's just a matter of who I'm going to let perform um, the surgery on me I have been looking up like vlogs and TikToks and stuff to kind of see what to expect Happy June 1st, y'all. I'm finally going to my breast reduction consultation and I'm very happy to be starting this process, okay? I've always felt like my breasts were just way too big for my body and not to mention the endless, when I say endless, I mean endless back and neck pain, y'all. My back literally hurts every single day, but the doctor pretty much went over recovery time, what to expect with the surgery, complications, and you know how much she would be taking off. Um, my doctor back home in St. Louis was like against plastic surgery, but my doctor in Georgia was like, girl, you are a strong, you know, candidate. And my doctor is very positive that insurance will be approving this. It takes about six to eight weeks for insurance to approve it. Overall, I'm just ready to be a better version of myself and feel more confident. I know you big boob girls feel me. Back at home and my appointment went well. Let me get y'all here because I don't think I updated y'all on my last doctor's appointment before this one when I went about those B9 tumors. It's a technical term that I'm gonna put on the screen. I just can't pronounce it. So I updated y'all one time and then I didn't update y'all the next time. So basically, um, I have five in one breast and then I have six in the other. And they're literally in like a circular motion. So I can't get them removed because it would literally destroy my whole breast. And I ain't going for that. We can't have that. So um, like two of them hurt in one breast and then like two hurt in the other breast. But other than that, it's just like, okay. So um, my doctor pretty much said that 
when I have my breast reduction, we can go in and remove the ones that are bothering me if they grow in size. So they have to be a certain size in order for you to get them removed. And mine's, I think they have to be three inches and mine are not. Um, I think mine are like one and 1 1.5 inches. So can't get those removed. But anyway, to the breast reduction. So appointment went well. Um, the, plastic sur the plastic surgeon said that I definitely am a candidate for a breast reduction. Um, the size that you go down to is based off your weight and height and what the insurance will approve you for. So right now we're playing the waiting game. I have to wait six to eight weeks for the insurance to approve me. Um, I had to fill out a lot of paperwork and explain like what i've been going through i literally have like chronic upper lower middle everything like back pain is outrageous okay um the doctor like touched my neck and my shoulders up here and she was like wow this is so stiff and so tense and you literally have like the knots up there because your breasts are so freaking heavy and they are so heavy like sometimes when i'm sitting i'm like this and it feels weird when i try to like sit back like this and like i'm always like literally doing this all day because it freaking hurts so a lot of the things that the doctor was saying i was like oh my god like i literally experienced this all the time like i've been to a chiropractor um try working out okay medication literally everything in my back still hurts and honestly i don't feel confident either because it's like here's small me and then you just got these things sitting all out and i know sometimes in my videos you probably can't tell because like i've been used to like hiding them but it gets very annoying and especially when i try to wear certain tops and i can't it's like okay but overall it's just very uncomfortable and I'm ready to feel more confident and most importantly, be healthy and not have all this back pain. I have to inform people about what I'm going through because it's somebody out there that's scared and is going through the same thing. And if I like to see you in a corporate setting, do not ask me about this in front of people. If you have something to say about it, ask me personally because some people just, it don't click in the brain, okay? does not click in the brain and everything shouldn't be asked in front of folks but anyway um i'm really happy about this i'm really excited i'm really excited um i'm gonna be getting a second opinion from a different doctor and just see what they say because i don't want to go with the first doctor that i do go to and then make my decision i've been you know researching this looking up vlogs um looking up what other people have been saying so i'm really excited um and i can't wait she went over like recovery time and then she also said you know i would have to see her two days after the surgery and she went over like some scarrings and some cuts um i'm not really concerned about the scarring and some cut the cuts because i feel like I could put cream on it to make like the scarring go away and I did have like some lumps removed out of my breast a few years ago and the scarring healed very well. I just want to have a safe surgery. I just want to you know feel better and just be you know the best version of myself. Um, I also have to look up some other things because um, it's some people that I reached out to and they told me to look up, you know, male practices and all this different stuff. But overall, I'm going through with this surgery because this is literally a manifestation. If you personally know me, like I've always said, when I get that bag, I'm getting a breast reduction. And I ain't even touched my bag for real right now, but I'm getting that breast reduction. Like, this is the time for me to do it. I'm tired of suffering. So, yeah, really, really excited. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I really appreciate y'all and thank you guys for the support. So, yeah, make sure that y'all comment. It's very important to comment um, so my video can get pushed out more so I can keep creating videos let me know what y'all think if y'all didn't like something let me know in a nice professional way don't get carried away okay if you did like something let me know um 
if you're watching my videos all the time, you might as well subscribe. Go ahead and become a street team member because we all need streets every day, all day. So yeah, um, yeah, just make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.